about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tess and I'm an elementary school teacher living in Atlanta with my husband Samir and our three feline friends, Baby Lobster, Pungy, and Huey. Today I've got lots of cleaning motivation coming your way to help you get your whole house cleaned. So let's get this started. I'm done living life with the lights out started using the Method Fragrance Boosters and the Ginger Mango Scent to help keep my laundry smelling fresh, but they just don't dissolve in warm or cold water. So I like to run a cold load, so I decided to dissolve the Fragrance Boosters in a cup of hot water and then just dump that right into the wash. going to spray the method anti back into the sink and let that sit for about 10 minutes so it can start disinfecting and then I was able to snag some Clorox wipes from my classroom that I had stashed away so I'm using those to disinfect the countertops and all of the handles in the bathroom Moving on to the kitchen, it was a little bit of a disaster. I had some dishes left over from breakfast, but lucky for me, Samir had been outside grilling and he gave me a little snack to keep me going. Strangers feel like we're far apart.
got things washed, I wanted to get everything dried and put away in the cabinets. And I found that the easiest way to do that is to create piles based on the cabinets that things live in. That way I can then take the entire stack to that cabinet once, instead of drying something, going to the cabinet, coming back and drying the next plate, going to the cabinet, and so on and so forth. This is a little bit faster. This is also helpful if you're using a dishwasher. You can just take things out and stack them up and then take that entire stack to the cabinet. Baby, let it come. using my method all-purpose cleaner in the lime and sea salt scent to spray down the front of the microwave and I'll also use that on the stovetop and the counters and then I'm just coming through with a microfiber cloth as well as my e-cloth glass and polishing cloth and that's gonna make everything super shiny If you're still using paper towels, I would encourage you to make the switch over to microfiber cloths when you're working in your kitchen. Not only do they cut through the grease and the grime, but you can also just wash them and use them over and over again. When you do go to get them clean, make sure that you are using either cold or warm water. You definitely want to avoid hot water and throwing them into a hot dryer because that extreme heat is going to start to melt those very fibers that are doing all that hard work for you. So instead, when you need to dry them, make sure you just put them on a rack and let them air dry. The last thing I wanted to do in the kitchen was get the sink cleaned. I'm using my Mrs. Meyers dish soap in the fresh cut grass scent and it smells so fresh and clean and it reminds me of aloe. This scent is exclusive to Grove Collaborative and Grove is my go-to spot for cleaning products. 
If you're interested in trying Grove Collaborative, check out the description box for a link that will get you a free five-piece Mrs. Meyers gift set with your first order. utilize that hose attachment you are doing yourself a disservice that thing gets into all the nooks and crannies so go ahead and pull that hose attachment off and get those corners of your house clean I got the floors vacuumed I just went through with my Swiffer wet mop pads 
And what I like to do is use the first side, and once I notice that that guy's getting a little bit funky, I'll take it off, flip the pad over, and then spray some all-purpose cleaner on the opposite side just to moisten it up, and then I can keep it moving and save on some of those pads. She came from, kinda turned me upside down, I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my teeth. As the floors dried, I went ahead and got my bed all made up. Now I change my sheets every single week and I was not that person a couple years ago. My mom would come and visit and say, Tess, what in God's name is happening to these sheets? But once I started washing them and changing the sheets regularly, I felt how incredibly soft and luxurious it is to get into a clean bed each week. So I would definitely recommend making that a part of your routine. Can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs. And the way she always dances. When she thinks nobody sees. And when she's gonna miss her soul. I tell her, baby, please don't go. I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating You can't stop looking at my entire house is looking beautiful and clean, and all I have left to do is sit back and relax and enjoy this peaceful space. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when my next video hits. Happy cleaning! Oh.